Hello, happy Friday, Avon family. How is everyone today? Hi, Cheryl. Hello, Mary. So this Friday, I figured we'd have a happy song. Hello, Patty. April, hi from PA. Hello, April. Thank you so much for being here. April, I think you were on the virtual sales meeting, and my if my memory serves me correctly, you were almost to Pathway to Premiere, I think. Hi, Joanna. All right, we'll give this just another minute or so, and then we'll get to it because it's Friday afternoon, and I know you guys, you don't want to spend it with me, do you? <laughs> I'm just glad you're here for now. Oh, April, you made your mini milestone. Yay, congratulations. Hi, Robin. Okay, well, we're gonna turn down the tunes and get started. So hello, everyone. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Allison Swanson. I'm the manager of sales education in Avon's learning and development team. And can you all just let me know if you can I'm sure, I know you can hear me obviously, but can you see me? Because my webcam has been acting a little um, a, a little weird this morning. So if you could just shoot me, Cheryl says, yes, I can see you. Okay, thank you, Cheryl, for the, the confirmation. All right, wonderful. Hi, Venus. Oh, Patty, you're so sweet. Okay, we're gonna dive right in. And today it's all about samples. So we're gonna cover a couple of things. We're going to talk about why you should be utilizing samples in your business, what they can do for you. We're gonna talk about what the return on investment could look like. And then I am so excited about our guest speaker today. She is truly just so passionate about samples and it really resonates when, um, when she speaks. So I cannot wait for you to hear from her. So stay tuned. First things first, we are going to kick things off with the benefits of samples. So we're gonna uh, jump right into these. First, the benefits of samples, they allow for an easy, easy conversation. You can share with complete confidence. You guys know I'm all about confidence. Maybe you joined my mini series a couple months ago, but if you're a little on the shy side or maybe timid to start the conversation, maybe you, you're new to Avon, samples. Samples are going to be your best friend easy way to start a conversation. And who doesn't want a, you know, a goodie or a free sample? So hand those out and you can share it with confidence. Because you're having these conversations and you're handing out samples, what does this allow you to do? This is going to help you to gain new customers. And it's all about that new customer acquisition. Now I dug up these stats for you guys and I'm so excited to share these. So let's take a closer look. On average, representatives who invest in samples saw an increase of 15% in order size. And again, for those of you who are new, if you're on today and you're in your first eight campaigns, you're in Pathway to Premier, I know April is, let me know in the question box because this is for you and this is huge. For new representatives, there was an increase of 43% in order size. So, I mean, wow, truly the power of samples. And Robin says, I love samples. Robin, so do I. They really can play a big part in your business. And sometimes we don't realize what they can do. Now, because you're gaining more customers, you're going to have more orders. And what does that mean for you? More customers, more orders means what for you guys? Let me know in the question box. And yep, Brittany, you're 100% correct. More commission, absolutely. And what more orders allow you to do is to build that sustainable business. Customers are going to get to know you. They're going to build that relationship with you and they're going to stick with you. Now, maybe you're on today and you really want to grow your skincare business or maybe it's fragrance, a certain category. Samples, can help you do just that. So if you want to start growing in, skin, in skincare or fragrance, use samples and I promise you will see that number soar. Another thing samples do, they help to build trust 
with your customers. Let's say you overhear somebody complaining about having dry skin and you recommend belief. Not only are you, yes, you're doing your job as an Avon representative, which we want you to be proud out loud about, but you are also helping someone. You are offering a solution. So that's kind of creating that, that bond, that trust. You're handing them something, they're trying it, it's helping, and that's creating that emotional connection. Now, for those of you who may be asking about color samples, and, you know, lipstick foundation, refer your customers to the virtual try on um, the virtual try on tool utilizing the digital catalog that is that's almost better than a sample they can take a picture they can see what it looks like and that's just a really fun tool to play around with let's look at return on investment this is pretty eye-opening you guys so let's take a deeper look here we have a representative tiffany Tiffany invests thirteen dollars and thirty-two cents. So not, you know, not anything major. A little over thirteen dollars in samples for campaign twenty-three. This gives her. So she's ordering these for her for her customers. She orders four packs of three Isinox Anu LX Day Cream, four packs of three Isinox Anu LX Serum, two vials of five for Far Away, and two vials of five Black Suede. Now, because Tiffany did all of this, this gives her 44 opportunities to share, 44 opportunities to gain customers, to grow her business. Now, hypothetically, let's take a look. If Tiffany sold five of the Isinox Anu LX day creams and serums, three far aways and two black suede, what does that mean for Tiffany? Well, at the premier level, she is earning almost $150 her return on investment, because remember, she spent that $13.32, she, her return on investment is $136.24. So pretty eye-opening when you look at it like that. And Maggie says, yes, this is truly eye-opening. I love this example. Well, thank you, Maggie. It's true. I mean, look at what this can do for you and your business. So remember that for next time. You all know I'm all about the example conversations and the words to you. So let's look at a at an example conversation utilizing the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. So I'm going to set this for you. Let's set the scenario. You're at a soccer game. Maybe you overhear some chatter about skincare. And of course, as an Avon representative, you're instantly like your ears perk up, you're listening, you're not eavesdropping, but you just want to hear more about the conversation. So here's here's what that here's what that could look like. Um, Abby, you mentioned that your skin is starting to feel so much more drier than normal. I could help over here. And I wanted to ask, have you heard about the belief line? You know what it is? I think it's the weather. And no, I've never heard of belief. Well, it's a skincare line, I use it, and it's known for hydrating the skin. It's super lightweight and works wonders. And then you can dig it out of your purse. Here, take a sample of the Aqua Bomb. You can apply it in the morning or in the evening after washing your face. Oh, thanks, this is awesome. I'll definitely try it out. Well, great, I promise you're gonna love it. Oh, and real quick, let me get your number. I'll follow up with you in a couple of days to see how your skin is taking to it Plus, maybe we can get the kids together sometime. So very casual, no high pressure sales tactic, no used car salesman, right? It's sort of just, you know, a, a friend talking to a friend. And you're taking the conversation a step further by getting that contact information, which allows for seamless and easy follow up. Patty, thanks for the excellent examples. You are 100% welcome. All right, now speaking of follow-up, we've laid out the example conversation, but let's take a look at what the follow-up could look like. All right, so we're starting again with Abby. Hey, Courtney, it's Abby from the soccer game. I just wanted to check in and see how your skin was responding to the belief samples I gave you. How are you liking it? Well, hey, thanks so much for asking. You know, I really have noticed a difference in just a few days. I really like the way it makes my skin feel. Oh my gosh. Glad to hear that. Here's the link to order, or I can order for you. What's easiest for you? Well, you know what? If you could order it for me, that would be fantastic. I've got so much going on today. No problem. I'll absolutely put in the order and I can bring it to the next game. 
Also, there's a belief jelly bomb cleanser that's in the same line. Would you like that as well? It's a great duo. Now, Abby does a really good job here. She's following up. She's also asking the question, you know, here's the link, but I'd be happy to order it for you. What's easiest? Because as I'm sure you've all experienced, someone says to you, yeah, I'll, I'll place the order. And then sometimes it doesn't happen. So then we have to follow up again. So by taking that off of Courtney's plate, Abby is helping her get the product that she needs and that she wants. She's also suggesting the Belief Jelly Bomb Cleanser. So she's adding another order onto that original one. So cross-selling and link selling is key. All right, let's look at the customer order history tool and why you should be utilizing this. And if you're already using this report, tell me in the question box. Now, the what this allows you to do is it allows you to view your customers' previous orders, whether that's customers um, that have placed their order through your online store or that you have placed their order on Avon now. And what this report allows you to do you're looking for patterns. So you can check their order to see if they're mainly ordering skincare or fragrance. Maybe they're ordering a lot of personal care, but this allows you to kind of review it with the fine tooth comb and see what things that you could tie into this. So what current samples do we have available that you could tie in that would match their order history? And Venus says, I check order history from time to time. It is a great tool. Well, Venus, I'm glad you're checking that check it soon and see what it can do for you and your customers in terms of samples. Now, where to find these reports? Um, pretty easy. If you want to locate past orders placed on Avon now that you have placed for your customers, and I've done these screenshots so you can kind of clearly see where to go, but you'll first want to go to manage orders, click on order history, and then it'll bring up all of the orders with confirmation numbers. Click on that confirmation number. From there, it will open the order details and you will want to click on the order ID. From there, you will be able to see the customer order information and exactly what they ordered. So I'm gonna pause. I don't wanna go too quickly over where to locate these. I'm gonna allow you to maybe take a screenshot or a picture on your phone because I don't want to just rush through these details. I want you to clearly know where to go to locate this tool. Lisa says, I put three samples in every brochure and carry a few with me wherever I go. Lisa, hi friend, I'm so glad you're on and that is a truly great tip. We're gonna get to tips in just a little bit. All right, locating past orders using the direct delivery report. Same thing, so go into your order history, but you'll see it circled. It says, to view your direct delivery order report, click here. So click that report. It then opens and you'll be able to see the orders. Again, click on that confirmation number. And then over on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that customer's invoice and every single thing they order. So again, I will pause for pictures and or screenshots and we'll move on in just a second. Kayla says, I'm making a list of my online customers and their address and mailing every one of them a sample pack. Kayla, that's a fantastic idea. Thank you for sharing. And Joanna, I recently got a I recently got a plastic over the door shoe holder to house my samples. Now I can see easily what I have available. That's another. I love that you guys are sharing these wonderful tips. All right. Now that we know how to look at what our customers have ordered, we have a customer profile for you. Here we have Mary. Mary's ordered a, you know, a few things from you. Um, first, we have the Love at First Lash Mascara, Glimmer Shadows, Skin So Soft, of course, uh, Haiku, Rare Diamonds, Flourish Honey Blossom, and then a new Ultimate Cream Cleanser and a new Ultimate Supreme Dual Elixir. So I'm going to pause and turn it over to you all. Based off of Mary's profile, what samples would you recommend to give to her? And you guys have to think about it for a second. All right, I'm seeing skincare, fragrance. Mary says Isanox, yes. 
She would probably love that Isanox a new LX day cream. Okay, yep, lots of fragrance and skincare. So you, this is just allows you to see a pattern. So make sure you are pulling those reports and utilizing them into your business. Speaking of how to order, let's look at how you can order samples. Very easy, but again, I know we have a lot of new people on, so I want to make sure this is crystal clear on how you can order samples. First, go into browse products, and then over on the right-hand side, you'll see samples, click there, and then it will bring up everything that we do have available, click on quick shop, and then add it to order. Now, uh, this banner is brand new. So if you go to, if, once you click on samples, it will open this. And there is a downloadable PDF that will allow you to see all the samples that are available, the prices, and even some tips on how to use samples in your business. But to make it easy for you guys, I have included the PDF flyer in today's pod, so you can download from here. And Joanna says, I just found this banner a minute ago. Yes, Joanna, I believe it went live this morning, so it is new. I wanted to call it out and make you all aware of this lovely new tool. Sampling tips, first and foremost, be prepared. This allows you to look professional, polished, and poised. Keep those for sure, or keep those samples with you wherever you go. In your car, your purse, in your desk drawer at work, you can easily pull something out and hand it to a coworker. And again, this just allows you to look prepared. You always want to have samples with you because you'll never know when you overhear that conversation like Abby did with Courtney at the soccer game. So good tip. Also, like uh, Lisa said, she includes samples with brochures. So put them in the brochure as you're handing them out. Let people know that there's a sample in there and you're going to follow up in a couple days to see how they liked it. You can also include with your customer deliveries. Great tip. Again, who doesn't like a sample? And then I love this sampling tip. Offer a goodie bag of samples for referrals. So this is a great way to grow outside of your warm market and get new names and get new customers. Next, ask questions to your customers or potential customers, maybe people you just met, right? We're always out and about meeting new people. Well, maybe not so much this year, but typically, um, but ask questions, get to know them, find out their preferences. And then once you get to know them a little bit more, you can tie in those samples to find out what fits fits them the best. All right, tips from the top. Let's take a look at our top 10 representatives that invest the most in their business. So first we have Jean Fowler, Lisa Bartolotta, Laura Mascardelli, Anna Marie Smathers, Janet Kowalski, Teresa Paul, Suzette Fujan, Jackie Bershwiel, Paula Miltner, and Maria Tirada. So congratulations to you guys, great job. I'm sure investing in your business with samples is truly paying off. You guys work so hard. So help me show some congratulations and love to them in the question box. Now I was able to speak to a few of them and they gave me some advice and I wanted to share it with you. So let's take a look at our tips from the top. First, Anna Smathers, she sends a thank you note to her online customers who shop with her along with the sample. And then she follows up a few days later to see what they think. And Anna, this is such an amazing tip because right now everything is so digital, text, email, but to receive a personalized handwritten card in the mail is truly a nice touch. It just elevates that customer service experience. And I mean, the only thing I get in the mail are bills. So Anna, great job with that tip. Maria, with every brochure I hand out and every delivery, I include several samples. And I love this next part. I also use them to motivate my new team members. When they place a $200 first order, they receive assorted samples from me. So that's a great way to, if you're in leadership, what a great way to motivate your new team member with samples. These next two come to us from Paula Miltner, and she looks at previous orders on skincare and fragrance, so what we just talked about, and she really focuses on hitting that right demographic. Once you do this, they'll stick with you. 
some representatives don't want to spend money on brochures, I tell them to drive traffic to their online, online store and invest in samples instead. So, I mean, I always recommend people invest in brochures, but sometimes in the beginning, you know, that might not be possible. And Paula recommends sampling in the beginning and then directing people to your online store, which is a, a, you know, a great piece of advice. And if you are on the webinar today and you have any tips that you would like to share, put that in the question box and I will, I will read it after the webinar. All right, well, I am thrilled to introduce to you all our guest speaker for today, Jackie Birchwheel. She has been with Avon for 11 years. She is a Rose Circle member and a bronze leader. And her personal quote, which I think is so cute, clean up as you go and maintain the status quo. So help me give a warm welcome to Jackie in the question box. Jackie, are you with us? I am, Allison. Hello, thank you so much for being on with me today. Thank you for asking me. Of course, so I have some questions for you. Would you mind answering them for me? Absolutely, thank you. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks again. First question I'm sure everybody on today wants to know, how do you use samples to grow your business? Well, I order between 160 and 180 books per campaign, Alison, and I put samples in each one. Between 20 and 25 are mailed out, so it limits what I put in. Last week with Campaign 23 books, I folded the new clinical dual eye system samples and put them in. Um, I sometimes ask customers if I can give them an extra book for a friend and write on a little label for a friend, and this way new customers are born too. Also, I include samples when I make up gift baskets for charities or at the beginning of the pandemic for friends whose businesses weren't allowed to open. They discovered how great products are and thanked me at networking meetings when the other members were listening. And it's so different when it comes from a customer rather than from me. And this happened with Silicone Glove. And although it's been around a while, so many were impressed to hear the comments. They're full sizes, but in these instances are also being sampled. When my networking groups had events, I stapled samples to my visiting cards, my business cards. Around 200 of these are given out each event, and I hope to be able to do this again very soon. So without samples, I'd be sunk. I discovered okay. that... Sorry? <laughs> oh, no, keep going. <laughs> I discovered that customers sometimes put samples aside for visiting guests or for when they travel. And I can understand this because I do the same thing. So I picked up the ball and ran with it and giving them extra samples and asking them to try them too. Last year, I made up and sold over 100 holiday bags, which I found at Hobby Lobby and put five items in each bag for men, hair and body wash, wash, which I snapped up before they were discontinued, and with aftershave conditioners, a roll-on deodorant, holiday nail file, and moisture therapy lip balm. Some people who received these bags came to me later and bought the colognes or eau de toilette. For ladies, I put in a shower gel, mini hand cream, roll-on deodorant, nail file, and lip balm. Wow, Jackie, that's amazing. I think you just gave out so many pieces of advice. Joanna says, I love that idea for extra samples with travel. Absolutely. So you have just covered a lot. I love all that you do, the gift baskets, the networking events, so key. And then next steps and next question. Can you tell us about a time you gained a new customer by offering someone a sample? And what did that look like? Well, yes, Alison. Uh, when the Perio Himalaya Pink Salt Toothpaste pumps came out, I bought both the ice mint and the floral mint and took them with little plastic spatulas to some of the offices and individual customers. I sold over 20 of these pumps and also got repeat orders from brand new customers. I explained that apart from looking lovely in their bathrooms, the pumps are more cost effective. They were $10 for 10 ounces as opposed to $5 for 3.4 ounces. I often carry perfumes with me so that I can ask customers if they'd like to try them, but of course, whenever possible, give out perfume samples. When the Elastine Propoli Thera hair products came out, I gave the whole packet of four samples to a very good customer. She called me and it was a boat out of the blue. She was absolutely ecstatic about the hair oil serum and said it was the best she'd ever used. 
She bought all four products and told friends about it. I gave her friend a book with the same samples and she immediately bought the shampoo. I also give tips to customers occasionally and when the pandemic started, I had customers who were considered essential workers and who had to wear plastic gloves. They were suffering from chapped hands. I suggested they put a little Avon hand cream on before putting their gloves on and the results were greeted with such happiness. Not only were their hands clean and soft, they were in better shape than they'd been in a long time. So this is a tip which can be used by all customers, perhaps driving to and from work or working in the garden also. I love that idea with the, the hand cream in the gloves. That's so creative. I would have never thought of that. So I hope everybody is taking notes. So keeping fragrant samples with you, talking about how the, the pumps are more cost effective, all of that is clearly uh, having helping you have a lot of success. Joanna says, I could hear this sweet lady talk all day. I know, isn't Jackie fantastic? Okay, um, Jackie, next question. How often do you order samples? I order them every campaign. They are so important for my business and my customers really, really appreciate them. Whether it's perfume, foundation, hair products, lipstick, they like to try these special treats in the comfort of their own home. And at that and the times they're ready to use them. Lipstick samples are probably the most loved of all samples. Unfortunately, they've gone away a little, but um, um, I'm hoping they're going to come back again. I always have plenty of samples to choose from, though, and I've included the Affirm Yourself and Smooth Moves, which have also mm -hmm. brought great sales. Okay, great. I love all of that. And then how do you typically ask someone if they'd like a sample? We had that example conversation from earlier, but how do you, you know, everybody is different, obviously, and has different personalities and how they like to offer somebody a sample. Can you uh, give us an example of how you offer somebody a sample? Okay, as I previously said, every catalog and pamphlet have one or two samples with them in clear literature bag. But when I'm making up my bags for customers who order each week, I select what I think are the right samples for the right customers. I also give a gift to customers who, who order maybe a face mask, a lip balm, a mini hand cream or mini face cream, depending on the order value. I consider any product I, I give a sample as I often receive orders for those products because of the gift. To a person who allows me to sell at their place of business, I also give a new product as a thank you. This engenders goodwill, and I really don't ask whether or not they'd like a sample because I know my customers. If I don't know them, or they're a customer who receives my book in the mail, I'll spoil them with a variety of samples when they do order. That's if they live close enough for me to deliver to them, of course. I generally know what products my customers buy and try to make sure they kept up to date on the new arrivals. All right, wonderful. Well, I love how you really um, you get to know your customers and you offer, you said the right samples for the right customer. So as I mentioned earlier, you have to get to know that person, ask those open-ended questions, and then yes, absolutely tie in the appropriate samples with the appropriate person. So Jackie, thank you so much for sharing. Anything else you want to share in terms of samples? Any last pieces of advice or tips? Well, if somebody asks for me, for something special like do you have a lipstick that's uh, that doesn't that stays on all day well i've discovered that a two-in-one um lip uh stain uh does stay on all day and it won't come off on the masks and it won't come off until you want it to come off so no coffee cup smears either <laughs> <laughs> wonderful wonderful well jackie thank you so much for sharing and being on today everybody give her virtual high fives and cheers show her some love in the question box so jackie thank you so much for being on with me today i appreciate you so much thank you so much allison Bye jacinda now. says high five yeah she did a great job lots of fabulous tips Hope you guys were keeping notes. All right, let's take a look at a list of our current available samples. And don't worry, I'm not gonna read these line by line, price by price, but you can see that some of the prices have decreased. And I mean, take a look at the current slide. Let me know in the question box, what samples will you be adding to cart this campaign? I can probably take a few guesses. I'm sure a lot of people will be going with maybe the new Ultimate Supreme Dual Elixir sample card, or I don't know, you guys tell me. All right, you guys got this down? 
we're going to jump to the next slide. Again, current available samples. Look at the new price for mission, 650. I believe it was 950 or 850. That's crossed out. I can't tell if that's an eight or a nine. But look at mission. I mean, look at true gen. These have all gone down. We have belief, of course. So again, look at the list of current available samples. Let me know which ones that you're going to be adding to cart. One more. Okay. Last one of the current available samples. Check out Isinox Anu LX, the day cream, 69 cents. The Isinox Anu LX serum, 89 cents. So, I mean, I'm, I'm saying, oh my gosh, wow. Yes. So take advantage. I'm seeing a lot of people who are going to be ordering the Isinox Anu LX, some colognes. That's what Venus said. She's going to invest in some colognes. Okay, great. Well, now that we've gone over the current available samples, let's talk about the promotional tool. And while we don't have any samples currently available utilizing the promotional tool, definitely check back because they can be added um, you know, on a regular basis. And this is a great tool to share with your customers at no cost to you. All right, next steps. We're gonna talk about what you should be doing right after this webinar. First, go ahead and review your customer order history. We've looked at the ways to do that. Go ahead, identify those customers and what ties into their previous orders. Uh, pair, the, pair up samples with the customers and their potential customers. So if you have a friend who you know really loves skincare or a friend who really loves fragrance, why not get them some samples and let them have that when you see them? Next, of course, order those samples. We've just went over the current available pricing and samples, so go ahead, add those to cart. Cheryl says, I would love to add samples to online and promotions. Yes, I'm sure they are coming soon. So like I said, check that promotional tool. And of course, take the sample modules on Avon U. It is also on Shortcut to Success. This training will go on Avon U as well, so you can access that a couple of different ways. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed our time together as much as I have. I appreciate you and all that you do as an Avon representative. Again, thank you to Jackie for being on with me today. And I want to leave you all with a quote, and that's do something now your future self will thank you for. I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend. Bye, Cheryl. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Venus. You guys take care. Bye, Robin. Lynn, you're welcome. Hope this was beneficial. Bye, Naomi. Thank you guys so much. Bye, Joanna.